Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am so glad you guys are here. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along and share with you what we got for the month of February from Azure Standard. Starting over here, we got the Stacy's Organic Tortillas. We usually get these, I think, probably every other month, if not every two months, but it's nice to have in the freezer ready to go. So I got a three pack of the small ones and then a three pack of the large ones. Over here, we got some zucchini this month. I think I'm going to batch cook some zucchini muffins or make some zucchini chocolate chip bread. And then these, some of these guys need to get used right away. So I'm going to be doing some jalapeno poppers with these. And I'm also going to be canning them. But we got some jalapenos. Over here, I got 20 pounds of apples. These are actually in really good condition. So some of them are going to be for snacking and the rest of them are probably going to go in the freeze dryer. I do need to make some more applesauce. I'm out, but they didn't have the Granny Smith apples. So I'll probably wait till I get some of those. But anyway, 20 pounds of apples. Mike, by the way, also when I went to Massachusetts, took the apples that I got from Azure Standard and he put them in the freeze dryer when I was gone out of town. So it was really nice coming back and seeing those done. We've been freeze drying a ton. Just did a bunch of blueberries and blackberries and strawberries. So absolutely loving it so much better. And then over here, we always get the originals. We actually bought them last month, so I'm going to have to start rationing these out. But with a family of 10, this is like a really good quick protein snack. We always get the original beef snack sticks. But this month, I wanted to add these on. They are the same thing, but they're just sweet and spicy. So we're going to go ahead and give those a try. And then as usual, I got the Nancy's Probiotic Sour Cream 6-pack and then the Nancy's Probiotic Cream Cheese. We get these often. They're nice to have. They're shelf-stable, and we're always running out of milk. So when we do run out of milk, the kids can just grab one of these from the pantry. And they don't have a really yucky taste to them. Uh, some of the brands we've tried over the years are really kind of gross, but these are great for um, shelf stable. These are the chocolate milk ones from Organic Valley. And then over here, I also got the plain ones. They are 1%. So good to have on hand. And then I got the Spry gum. We haven't got this for a long time, but I like to keep it in the car. I have at least three kids. I get car sick almost every time we go somewhere with the mountains and drop in elevation all the time. So I got some peppermint, spry gum, and some cinnamon to keep in the car. I also got over here two pineapples and then a big box of lemons. These are in perfect condition. Sometimes it's really hit or miss with produce, obviously with traveling and, you know, shipping produce. It, it, it's not always perfect, but this is these are absolutely in great condition. So I'm going to freeze dry some of these, and then I'm going to batch cook probably tonight some lemon poppy seed muffins. I have EMR class tonight, and it's around dinner time, so a lot of people don't eat, and we don't get out until 10 at night. So I'll probably surprise everyone, make some lemon poppy seed muffins, and triple them and have some on hand for breakfast. If you guys want a really delicious lemon poppy seed muffin recipe, I'm going to leave that that link down in the description below. I did a video on them. They are phenomenal. They are like the best lemon poppy seed muffins ever. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. But I will post the link in the description if you want that recipe. And then I did get two six packs. <laughs> Joshua, Josh is playing on the couch with his dinosaur. Okay. And then we got two six packs of the organic 2% milk from them. I don't get that often, but it does have a really lengthy shelf date. And this is good until April 8th, 2024. Over here, I always try to get my dairy from Azure Standard. It's just the best quality in my opinion. So we got, I had to count, I forgot. It's a 12 pack of the Monterey Jack cheese. We are out of that. And then there's that um, shelf stable milk there. And then a 12 pack of the mozzarella cheese. And then 12 pack of the raw medium cheddar cheese bricks. And these, these last a long time. They have a really... Far out sell by date. This one's best by July, <laughs> July of this year. So good dates. Not like the stuff you get from the store that, you know, lasts a little bit. This is sell by October of this year. So nice lengthy dates. No hurry to use them. I got an eight pack of their organic avocados. And then these I need to can. I need to pressure can some more potatoes. Somebody asked me a while ago how I get our potatoes so clear when canning. And I'm going to try to do a video on that this time. Last month, I got russet potatoes 
um, by accident. <laughs> so I got the yellow potatoes now to pressure can. So I will be pressure canning those soon. And then I got a five pound bag of some carrots. I like to slice these up with like celery and ranch for lunches for a side. Over here I got, what is this, five pounds? Probably, yeah, five pounds of the baker pieces, raw walnuts. We used a lot up during the baking season, you know, Thanksgiving through Christmas. So those um, disappeared from our pantry. I got three of the Dr. Bronner's. This is what I fill our soap pumps with, the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. That is the citrus scent. And then we are out of our Al Alfredo. I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> our, our Alfredo sauce mix. So I got a three pack of these one pound bags of fat. And this is a really good sauce. I, use, I used to get mine jarred. You can make it. I don't always have time to make it. I got a lot going on in my life. So sometimes I'll make it. Sometimes we get jarred, but we really like this, so we've kind of substituted and we switched to this instead of the jarred sauce. And then over here, and then over here, I got 25 pounds of mandarin oranges. I, these are so expensive at the store now, and the quality sucks, and they're really small. These are a really good size. They're in great shape at the moment, so... I am actually going to be canning these. Some will be for snacking, but the majority will be for canning. So this one's just a little bit soft, but other than that, the quality of these is absolutely perfect. So I am looking forward to getting a lot of these canned up. Okay, we've had a lot of snow, so my garage is kind of gross, obviously. Um, and uh, anyway, this my kids must have unloaded this for me out of the car. I think that's probably everything that was in the car. But I did get 20, let me see, it's not stacked neat, uh, 25 pounds. So I got four 25-pound bags of all-purpose flour. They're unbleached all-purpose flour because we are out. I also got eight bags of poultry pellets from Modesto Milling. I do like that a lot. And then I got two bags. There we go. I got two bags of the chicken wheat animal feed. It's organic. So what I'm going to be doing is just kind of mixing in some of my own feed. And we've been doing that, just adding multiple things in I also forgot to pull these out. Um, we got five pounds of the frozen green peas as well. I'm going to throw those in our freeze dryer. All right, you guys. Anyway, what I was saying in the garage is I've been mixing some feeds, our, our turkeys. I don't think it's so much our ducks, but our turkeys are blowing through food. We're spending, we did the math, hundreds and hundreds a month on feed. So we have our two tom turkeys and a couple hens, but they are just, there's no way to control how much food they have because they're all free range together and they're just eating and eating. So we have to do something about that. But I did get the eight bags of feed, but we've just been blowing through feed. I got three bags two days ago, gone. And before that, we got six bags, I think, from down the hill and those were gone quickly. So cutting down on how much poultry we have. It's not the chickens. I think it's just the ducks and the turkeys, especially the turkeys. So anyway, oh, and news, I got glasses finally. So it's been 10 years. That was weird. <laughs> I'm like trying to readjust my eyes. It's been 10 years at least since I had, no, 13 years. Hold on. My kids <laughs> are playing. So it's been about probably 13 years since I had my eyes checked for glasses. And I can't see far away, so I think that's nearsighted. It's like opposite. I cannot see good far away. It's it's actually gotten worse over the years. And I knew after every baby you have, your eyes just get worse over time. That's what all the eye doctors have told me. So when you're done having kids, you know, come back and get checked out. But I put on my old glasses I used to wear, and like I still can't even see. So like everything's just kind of like the trees far away are all green, but there's really no outline or contrast. Things don't stand out. So I have these obviously basically just for driving i do like having them in the house even though he's like you really don't have to wear them in the house but just because everything looks so much prettier and we have all those thousands of pine trees across the street and it's just such a pretty view so i like personally wearing them around the house because i can see everything so much better but he just said don't wear them all the time because that can actually affect your sight the other way um 
being able to see close up. It'll weaken your eye or something like that, he said. So anyway, I did get those. So those are new. I'm like, I might as well just have them in the video so you guys can see because I'll be randomly probably wearing them throughout videos other than that. So I do have an update. I'm just going to throw it in this video. This week has been wild. This past Saturday, we had a ton of snow and I'm doing the EMR courses right now. You don't have to do them, but I want to do them. And I finished hazmat in December. And so now I'm in EMR till close to the end of February, but they didn't want us driving in the snow last Saturday. So they actually added to make up for Saturday because that's nine to five. They have two extra weekdays added on. So this week I was really hoping to get a video out and I was going to film it Wednesday and I just was not able to do that because that was our makeup day from missing Saturday because of the cancellation. So I had two extra weekdays added on. So every day this week I've been gone and today is, today is Thursday. So <laughs> It, tomorrow I'm finally going to be able to do my video I was really hoping to I just literally my homeschooling takes up the majority of the day if we're not counting doctor appointments here it takes up the majority of the day and then it's like straight into trying to scramble and I've honestly been terrible at trying to like figure dinner out before having to leave because I have to leave my house early because of how far away the place is and yeah and that goes till 10 o'clock at night so I I'm going to be doing that video tomorrow. That will probably be out by Saturday. I don't think I'll have a ton of editing to do. I've gotten really good at editing, I think. So that should be pretty quick to get out to you guys. I just want it out before Valentine's Day. So I'm going to definitely do that tomorrow. And then Saturday, we have more snow tomorrow and Saturday. So they're talking about possibly canceling Saturday's class because the road to the EMR class is really dangerous. There's a lot of motor vehicle accidents, especially with the snow. My tires are terrible right now. I need new tires and I have yet to get new tires. So unless I take one of my husband's plow trucks, I don't know. We'll see. I'll find out tonight at class if they're going to cancel or not. Anyway, all that to say, I, I'm just waiting for the opportunity to be able to film. <laughs> I have not had the time I just wanted to throw that in this video, but I also wanted to throw in, okay, now there's a glare and that's annoying me. I also wanted to throw in this video. I did get my TEE done. So basically I had the first test that I had was a, you got it, Grace. The first test that I had done was a echocardiogram with bubbles study and that showed some issues. This is so weird throwing this in a grocery haul video, but just to get it out there because I know people have asked and I've been terrible at finding time to, to do a video right now. But so that first test showed some negative contrast indicating a hole in my heart, a possible hole in my heart. So we had a, um, I cannot think of the word. I had to get the door for my daughter. She was carrying some milks down. I'm like, oh, we got to get this stuff in the fridge. And it all goes to the garage downstairs. So anyway, we had the transesophageal echocardiogram done. And they did the bubble study while doing that test. And they couldn't see where the negative contrast was picking up in the previous test. So for the moment, they're like, we don't think there's a hole in your heart, but there's still something going on. Cause my O2 stats to be like 79% at night which is not good. So I don't know what the next step is. I had that test and I'm so thankful for those results. I honestly, it was just at a point either way where it's like, at least if you have an answer, you can fix it and get on it right away and recover from that point. But not having an exact answer is the hard part because it's like, okay, obviously something's wrong here. And anyway, this goes back, if you're just watching, this goes back to a previous video that I did. Just some things that I have been going through and experiencing or trying to get to the bottom to medically. And anyway, all that to say, they could not see anything really well on that test. So there will be another test. What it is, I don't know. I don't know. Something's causing really low oxygen levels while I sleep and we're not quite sure. So I do have my CPAP machine. I did get the directions. Brooke, anyway, sorry, <laughs> there's a lot of interruptions during the day. Okay, so we're still just trying to figure out what exactly is causing those low oxygen levels at night. I do have my CPAP machine. I don't want to use it, but I I need to try to use it. It's different. I'm, 
I'm not a claustrophobic person, but with that, I'm noticing I'm really struggling. I'm having some issues with that, but I do need to use it. They said I will feel like a whole new person the next morning after using it. And I got to feed my dogs. <laughs> but anyway, they're all coming in here. They're like, where's our food, mom? So that's what's up with that. Still doing more tests. Not quite sure. I have an appointment scheduled with my pulmonologist at the end of February, and then I have one in March. So lots of appointments still, but getting things checked off my list, finally taking care of myself a little bit. Feel as moms, it's so easy to push your health to the back burner and focus on your kids and just getting through the day to day. And before you know it, like months and years fly by and it's like, oh yeah, I said I was going to go get that done. So I better do that. That's where I'm at right now. But anyway, this is our haul for the month of February. I just figure like whoever's here to see the haul can watch it and you know the beginning and then if you guys want to stick around and hear anything at the end I'll just put anything I have to say in at the end because after all this is a grocery haul video but just want to give those updates now that I have some answers I just got those answers and yeah we'll see what other tests are left to do so I'm not quite sure they're not quite sure we're just trying to figure things out but anyway I appreciate you guys thank you for being here and once again, I'll have that muffin recipe linked down below in the description box. It's absolutely delicious. Like really, really yummy. You guys got to give it a try. And lemons from Azure Standard, like the produce this time around is pretty, pretty phenomenal. It's yeah. So I'm looking forward to getting these things processed and preserved and up on the shelf. And I will see you guys. Soon, this weekend, there will be a video coming out. It's going to be a good one. So I will see you guys on that video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and have a wonderful weekend. And stay safe, stay warm. We're getting tons of snow. We have like 70 mile per hour winds. Bitter, bitter cold out. So we're trying to stay warm too. I got to make some more fire starters. We're out. I'm also going to link that video too because I've had a couple people ask what do you use for fire starters and it's like an old, old video from the beginning, but I'm going to link that in the description box below because we still use those. And this is the first winter we actually ran out of fire starters. Usually it lasts us till the end of a winter season and we've just been having a lot of fires. <laughs>